What are you doing here? I'm just doing my job. Your job? Having you work at a bakery is like putting a fox in charge of the hen house. I don't know what you're talking about. I just transferred to this location. They transferred you? Why? Did you eat all the inventory or something? No. I love this job and I happen to be good at it. Of course you are. Just like sharks are good at fishing. I happen to be studying to be a pastry chef. This job is just a stepping stone. Stepping stone? Can you fit any more of those in there? At least I have a career plan. What are you doing here? I don't need to be insulted by another employee like you. All right, what's with the cash drawer? You're short money again. I can tell you what happened. And what is that? It's not the money that's missing. It's the product. What's that supposed to mean? If donuts are $2 each and we're missing $10 from the cash drawer, then she ate five of them. $10? We're missing a lot more than that. That's what I'm saying. Look at her, she's huge. She's obviously eating us out of business. And how do you know it's her? Isn't it obvious? Does it look like I can eat like that? You know, you have a point. That's it. Stephanie, I'm moving you to cashier. That's more like it. But bakery is what I do. Why do I have to be cashier? Because you can't eat the food while you're ringing people up. And I can make sure you're not dipping into the cash register. Don't you mean keeping her hands out of the cookie jar? Stephanie is new and Nina is critical of her size. Now, money is missing from the cash register and Stephanie is getting a new job assignment because of it. Is she the one who took the missing cash? All right, Stephanie, I'm supposed to fill in for you while you eat lunch. <laughs> Great, I'll be back in half an hour. I'm glad I'm not here for that feeding frenzy. Thanks, Nina. I'm back. Stephanie, I checked your register drawer. You're short on cash again. Kathy, that's impossible. I didn't take any money. I transferred you to cashier because you were eating the product in bakery, and now there's money missing? It wasn't me. Did you know that Nina substituted for lunch? Who am I supposed to believe? She's been here a lot longer than you. That doesn't mean I did it. All I know is we didn't have these problems till you got here. <sighs> I'm suspending you from your job. Suspended? If I had my way, you'd be fired. But luckily for you, it's not up to me. Does that mean I can come back? Don't hold your breath. Stephanie just got suspended for stealing. If it really was her, the theft should stop while she is gone. You just transferred to that store. Now they think you're being dishonest? I know, Dad. I have never had anything happen like this before. In all my years at the plant, we've never had to deal with this sort of thing. Except once, when someone was stealing from the employee lockers. Really? What did you do? Let's just say we had to get creative to find out who was doing it. Oh, look who's here. Did you return the money? I didn't take any. That's not what I heard. Nina, I think you should leave her alone. 
Thank you, Mrs. Parker. But why should she be able to get away with that? She hasn't. She's back, but she's on probation. How are you gonna prevent her from eating half the store? Just leave her alone, and hopefully she'll stop doing bad things. I think you should listen to Mrs. Parker, if you can. Fine, but she better keep her hands to herself. Nina, Mrs. Parker wants me to cover for you while you take your lunch break. Great. You better keep your hands off the goods. How am I supposed to sell pastries if I can't put my hands on them? You just better make sure everything's accounted for. Fine, but you have nothing to worry about. Good. I'll know if something's missing. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? I ordered a cake. I'm here to pick it up. Great. What's the last name? Last name's Brady. Hang on a minute. I'll go get it for you. Here we are, one confetti surprise. Perfect. How much is it? Uh, that'll be $24. Can you break a hundred? No problem. Let me box that up for you. Stephanie, I'm back from lunch. Where is she anyway? Nina, I'm right here. Are you done with your lunch? Uh, yeah. Some people bring their food to work instead of making work their food. Nina, your cash drawer's short again. You're missing a hundred dollar bill. Hundred dollar bill? I haven't seen it. It wasn't there when I got back from lunch. Really? Who filled in for you? Like you have to guess, it was Stephanie. Hmm, we'll have to have a talk with her. Stephanie, I need you to come with me. Okay. Stephanie, did you take in $100 when you filled in for lunch? Yeah, a guy paid for a cake with a $100 bill. See? That's proof she took it. Let's ask the man who paid for it himself. What? Who's this guy? I put dye on the $100 bill. It's gonna rub off on whoever touched it. Well, I didn't. Why don't you look at Stephanie's hands? I don't see anything on her hands. It doesn't work that way. It's only visible with this UV light. Well, in that case, why don't you have a look? My thoughts, exactly. Look, that's all the proof you need. No, that only means she took the $100 bill from him. Let's look at your hands, Nina. What? This is a trick! Wait a second. Let me see those hands. This is not fair. Looks like we have the real truth now. I thought you never saw the hundred dollar bill. Maybe it rubbed off on the other money. If that's the case, let me see your purse. Nina, I thought you never saw the $100 bill. All right, fine. I took the money, but this job doesn't pay enough and she set me up. I guess that's what you get for falsely accusing other people. I can't believe this. Mrs. Parker, does this mean you're gonna suspend me? I don't know. Is that what I should do? Nina accused Stephanie of stealing from the store when it was her all along. Should Nina be suspended from work, or should she have been fired? Let us know your thoughts. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to follow Totally Studios for more.